Went back with Mass Effect 2. We got our Shepard in a dress. I believe it's from a mod. wants to speak with you, Commander. No one knew. Jacob wants to speak with me. Oh, I can do that. I could also start a playlist. Short one. Or the usual one. From one of the two songs. The ambient songs from Mass Effect. I like my background. The ship is empty. Okay, Jacob. Speak. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. The yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. Yeah. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. I need to do one Lord mission, I believe. Start on the next quest. Oh, might as well do Jacob, right? Does he have that Kuama, but not a thing else besides that? Yeah. Uh, exit. Oh, I could do check again. No oh, messages good. for you, Commander. Done check so many times. I want to do one that I haven't done in a while. Doesn't matter. Okay. Project Overlord, help check. Help check up. Rondo Morden. Uh, everybody's gonna die. Everybody. Doesn't matter. Okay. Why not? Also, I need to scan planets with my one bro resources doof. Launching probe. Oh. So handy. I don't got time to spare any maze. Ah, oh, damn it. Get me away from this planet. No one has time anymore. It's time to scan planets manually for Anomaly four spots. Detected. Away. I have found something. Uh, you and then we're gonna get to check up site mission. It doesn't Probe matter away. where. One Brobo resources flew in. That'd be upgrade. Just can't double tap escape. 
It was a model for you. Don't want that. I hope I have infinite fuel. That would be nice. Probe launched. Good. Good. I don't know why it sometimes just glitches and you can't press the buy fuel button anymore. Look at that. It's so weird. That's only on PC. Oh, that works normally. I do have fuel reserves. Nope, nope. Ah, yeah, yeah. Anomaly detected. Oh, what a lot. What I would do. Distress. MSV Hugo Gernsback. Registration BW461003487. Probe launched. Here we are. Scan have found something. Bond. Oh yeah. We got dead armor. Who are we gonna take with us though besides Jacob? That's the question. I believe Jack might be a good choice. We still got armors for her. <laughs> It's gonna be Paragon though. Samara. It's an easy mission too. I now I use Tactical Cloak. I don't even use. Let them disrupt them too much. Yeah. Cryo ammo. Better. Ah. Oh. Mm. Makes no sense. I'll do this very uh, full upcoming. Good, good. Beautiful planet, though. We haven't realized that yet. This is gonna be a let's play. Where serious squad might survive the suicide mission, and then we're gonna play any free with zero surviving squad mates from the suicide mission. That's the plan. No life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside. There it is, squad. and mostly intact. They could have survived impact, but it's been years. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Along with us anymore, we've done horrible things to the crew. The conditions they're in, they don't understand what we're doing to them. Distract them for two seconds and they forget what, what, what you did before the bruises show. It, it, it's got to stop. I'm talking to the others as soon as... Repeat, toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically incompatible with human physiology. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. I assume unsafe deceleration refers to the crash. Give me the details. Following an unspecified impact and sublight drive failure, the Hugo Gernsback made an unscheduled descent at 465% of theoretical recommended suborbital velocity. The Hugo Gernsback then decelerated at 782% of theoretical recommended approach velocity, sustaining significant damage oh, to investment and crew. Cool. Ah, oh, my package just came. More protein stuff. Local food and protein shakes. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? 
Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after eight years, 237 days, seven hours on the authority. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as record deleted. That doesn't say, that doesn't tell me anything. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. It is unlikely anyone. Sorry, Samara. Got a crew photo. Yeah. One could avoid the effects for so long. My butt. <laughs> it's clear. Kind of white and black. Why? Right, because of the legs. What over it? at all. Not creepy at all. After a crash, you can't expect the luxury of due, due, due process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Cap Cap Captain Fairchild knew this crew, crew, crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him, but I don't. Oof. Is it a trick up? Father, I ain't ready for command. What? What was her name? Sarah? S Suzanne? My God, I can't remember. I can't remember her face. We need to get out. So I can remember. C can think straight. They have to hurry. To sudden, total silence. Job blocking me. Total silence, no ambient sounds. There are some wave sounds. Okay, let's get going. Hope that after that I can do the next main quest. Otherwise I just wasted my time. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Yep, you're yeah, normal. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue Watch will... out! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! Trouble coming! Ah. 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 What do we have here? Inferno for you. Bro, uh. what is another? Uh. One down. Oh, there are you there. Yeah. Mother, huh? Oh, oh bro. Oh. I will hold them. Into the jungle with you. So that it swallows you up. You. Damn it, I don't think that hit him. Put them where we need them. Don't push forward. I 
I was Chicken right. already dead on his own goddamn mission. I might need to manage him. Yep, that didn't work, of course not. So was cover. Damn you. The hell is this? Oh, that's a human body. No way. This does go well. The hell? I can't even shoot. Oh shit. That's what you wanted to say. Look at that dude. Damn, that human. This killing me. That human next to me is killing me. Uh, you bro. Don't go for this up. That was not neural decay. They were feral. Our father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. Uh-huh. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost it. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. God damn, Jacob. You're useless. It's the, it's the Strip command. for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Okay, clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? It makes males get violent. Possibly, but the female on the beach said the exiled came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! Oh. It's <laughs> a nice welcome, right, Jacob? Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. He has a cruel face. His cruel <laughs> face. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Jesus Christ, check out. Don't punish these poor girls. Their parts, money, for shopping. Citadel later. Your captain demands obedience. Oh. Weapons are forbidden. God damn it. They <laughs> threw my shields. Stop and everything. You obedience. Are forbidden. Rerouting power. Backup systems engaged. Come on over. Have engaged. A competent leader. Please, here. You could end it. You have his face, but you fight his machines. You might stop this. This I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After, my father took control and didn't stop it. 
Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Oh. Awesome. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man. Punish him. Right, Samara. What it brought you here for? No. Oh. Damn team. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. The posed corpse has been there a long time. A warning. These others, a month. And left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Incoming! Ah. Get over here! Throwing forward at the same time. Target down! What the sense? Careful. That's something I can destroy. Had no choice, he says. He had plenty of choices. A little late to blame his victims. Gotta hurt! This will occupy them. Ah! God damn it, come on, run over there. I want that. Oh, oh, finished. Excuse me. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Sneezes. Have a nice trip. <laughs> Hostile! Oh! Oh, oh I can't even live. Win. Don't be able to fight against the sneeze. That's you, is what you should have said. Damn. And there's still someone here. God damn it, Chick. <laughs> you worthless bastard. Oh boy. Excuse me. I will hold. Impact. System failing. Allied force casualty. Okay, got to choose this. Backup systems engaged. Oh! Careful. <clears throat> Medical system damage. I'll get them off their feet. Excuse me. I'm gonna have to swap them on. Warning hostile forces in non standard ammunition. <laughs> Unit member offline. Let's we'll stay on. Impact them. Occupy them. Hostile forces have engaged. Let's go. Impressive. Unit member offline. Hostile forces have engaged. I had to keep them busy, distracted, but it's getting dangerous. Thank God you've come. He had his fun, and now he wants out. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't insult your grandmother like that, Jacob. Oh, what's this? What's wrong with you? With pistol damage. A pistol should be pretty strong by now. Wish I had a good pistol. There are gonna be more coming, aren't there? Maybe Jacob will survive this time all the year. Oh, 
one uh, not all. I have one less to worry about. Hostiles there. What's that? Yeah. I'm used to train my guards. I'm afraid you'll have to fight them to rescue me. Oh. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. Fear is. Headshot! Protect! Enemy combat! Ah. Where? Damn you. Bastard. Come on over. Oh, pull in. Kill so we can go home. Oh boy. Oh boy. Humans first. Check on the stat again. Impossible. Come after me. Damn it. Damn it. I will hold them. <clears throat> Oh, he killed me. Oh, Check out his useless. Not this time. This will occupy them. Somehow the Mara never dies. Get them off their feet. Oh, he did. It's about to explode. Yeah. Enough yeah. with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. I need to just <laughs> you to justify why you always die. Oh, that kind of rhymes. I need you to justify why you always die. And then I only hear you cry. But you father. Hope you're smarter. Yeah. Good enough. Money. Ah, oh, if it would have been Renegade, I would have brought Jake. Check. JJ Combi. Check up and check. Any loot here? Nothing. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, 
protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. We'll secure him for an Alliance court. For every year here, he'll have ten to think about it. Give him all the time in the galaxy. The man who did this doesn't know right from wrong. I'm sorry, Jacob. I did the best I could. I'm ten years past believing that. The ending of the Paragon version. That's boring as hell. Renegade though. That's good stuff. Renegade version is way, way better. Alliance ships are inbound to secure Captain Taylor and his crew, Commander. We'll be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob. If I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Do do do. <laughs> oh, but look. <laughs> Look at Shepard's expression. That's amazing, like, you model. Oh, I'm behind my back. You should have told me first. Look at that expression, like, oh, it's perfect. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob, spank her. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor can rot in prison. It doesn't change who I am or what I know. I've already mourned the man he used to be. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. 
or a girl, right? Come on, we got work to do. I come in. Cool. Shepard, thanks for the help. I saw you staring at my. Yeah. Any time, Jacob. Okay. Okay. I want to see if I can start the next mission. Otherwise, I'm gonna be blendless a little bit. Come on, tell me. To know. Commander, I think you'll want to talk to Garrus. Oh, now he wants to talk. Wait, still not? Damn it. Oh, oh. What else is missing? No clue. I don't have to do a second loyalty quest all of a sudden, right? I might have to. Then I did the wrong order. Then I should have done check in Miranda again. Because one cancels out the order. Anyways, we're done.